Hi, I'm Sergeant Leanne Christos in charge of the Community Engagement Unit with the Lethbridge Police Service. And I'm Allison Purcell, I'm with AMA School Safety Patrol. So today we're here to do the signing of the school travel planning for document for Nicholas Sharon School. So a school travel planning document is looking at um, what are the best ways that we can meet the needs for school zone traffic safety uh, in a school. And we've worked together with partners over the last year and stakeholders on um, ensuring that we get the best plan possible to work with over the next few years and look at some of the issues and concerns and how we can all work together to achieve um, safety, the most safe area here at our school. Um, the goal is exactly that, just to have safety and uh, so no one gets hurt and yeah, the parents uh, will have an easier way to drop off their kids and uh, it should just flow a lot more smoothly. So over the last number of years, the city has had um, uh, worked towards having a transportation safety plan. And um, of course, it was over COVID that it needed to go forward. And so in uh, early 2021, the City Council did pass and approve the transportation safety plan. And one of the items in there was to develop safe routes to school for all of the schools within the city of Lethbridge. So this is the beginning stages. So this last year, um, the, the group worked on both Nicholas Sharon School as well as Senator Buchanan. So many letters were sent out in conversations with a number of schools and these were two schools that stepped up and said that they'd like to be the first go-round of this. And over the next year we have another couple of schools that we'll be working with. But this is the first signing um, that will happen within the city of Lethbridge for a school travel plan. Uh, for one of our uh, public schools. My name is Aaron Fitchin. I'm the principal at Nicholas Sharon Elementary School and today we got to sign a special school travel plan document with uh, our stakeholder groups in the city of Lethbridge. I'm Tyler Waldron. I'm one of the parents on school council and uh, goes to district council meetings. I was, yeah, came to see what it was all about today with the signing portion, but have been involved in part of the travel safety plan for the last year. Um, did the walk around, came to a few of the meetings, heard what we were talking about, gave some input. I'm excited, kind of quite excited to see how it develops now uh, after the plan's implemented and we start out doing some action items on the plan. So, Definitely at the start of last school year, we were having a lot of conversations. So in the 2023-2024 school year, we were having a lot of conversations about safety on our parking lot, safety around Nicholas Sharon Elementary School, and different modes of transportation, thinking about how do students get to school. Um, and so it was kind of a nice opportunity that we heard from the City of Lethbridge around the same time that they were hoping to engage different schools in Lethbridge with the school travel plan process. And so one of the things that we talked about at staff meeting and at our first school council meeting last year was is this something that we can commit to that we're passionate about that we think would be important for our school community and that we're looking forward to engaging in and those conversations definitely developed with a really great and supportive and willing group of parents into something that we thought yeah we should really move forward with this yeah yeah absolutely mm -hmm. <clears throat> it was yeah about safety and the, yeah people commuting to and from school how they're getting to and from school are there alternative methods of transportation mm -hmm. is everybody just driving are people taking buses riding bikes walking could we encourage more alternate forms of transportation i say alternate in the sense that hopefully not everybody's driving that we get more people walking mm -hmm. get more of a community feel to coming to school every day and making it safe enough so that when kids are coming to school in those other ways that they're safe mm -hmm. and even our parking lot and uh, the loop at the lot that that's safe that people are following the rules so that we don't have a kid running between cars and somebody getting hit part of the things that we've done um, throughout the year last year involved um, not only the in-person planning meetings with all of the different stakeholder groups, but we had a survey that was done in all of our classrooms. So every child was surveyed every day of the week for one full week in January of 2024. And what came from that was a good amount of data about not just how do students 
get to school every day and get home from school, how would they like to get to school every day and how would they like to go home every day? And so there was some excitement around riding a school bus or excitement around walking to school. Um, some students were interested in riding the city bus, even though it doesn't come to our school. Um, so there's just, it's nice to have those rich conversations with our children in the school about getting to school, how do we do that safely? How do we live in our community and use our community? Mm -hmm. In addition to that, um, the planning committee also did a walkabout in April 2024, when we spent over two hours just walking around Nicholas Sharon Park through the community, off onto some of the side streets where our children's and children and family live. And um, we looked at things like crosswalk safety, um, where are the safety lights, where are um, the pathways? And, and that was such a good experience to go through with that group of people <laughs> to really be um, mindful of the spaces that we use every day. Yeah.